Hello there people, welcome back to my computer, this is Christian, this is Fusion for 60 and this is the vase. And uh, for some reason I like to discuss this shape or show this shape. Uh, this is a hyperboloid, I think is correct pronunciation of the shape. Uh, and I, this pops up now and then in uh, different designs and shapes. And it's sometimes we just question about this in CAD forums, and a lot of people say, "Oh, it's just a simple arc revolved around the center line." But if you look at it, this is not an arc. This is a parabola shape, uh, and you can find it in buildings or structure like uh, Scott Hornet. I think this, uh, my Danish is not the best. It's this is a viewing tower outside of Copenhagen in Denmark. And you can see the nice soft double curved surface. It curves in this direction, it curves around uh, the cylinder. So that's the thing about these, they are double curved. But the structure that picks it up are a straight line. You can see the straight images here. You also find it in shapes like a cooling tower for power plants, uh, furniture, desktop accessories, more towers, more towers, more towers. It's very popular in towers because it becomes. Uh, a bit self self stabilizing as very simple straight lines very good we can have this also look at this model i've used the same dimension as for the vase here that i used a pipe you can see this is straight pipes that gives us this nice double curved surface a double curved uh, structure and if we then um, also mirror them we get something really nice so that is what it looks like now we're going to make it so let's move let's move this we can keep this one. Here is our drawing. We have some dimensions 150 and 60, 65 and 120 in height. So let's start by doing this. Uh, we're going to start a new design. Create a sketch. We're going to create a sketch on this plane. So we're looking from the top. C on the keyboard. We're going to do three circles. And D for dimension. We start with the outmost. That was 100. The next one was uh, 65, and the smaller circle or the narrow part of the vase was 50 millimeters. And I'm going to need a line, so L on the keyboard for a radian point straight out because I need this point here for a construction plane. What we're going to do now, we're going to do an offset plane. We have it up here. Offset plane, this here, distance to object. We're going to select the point that's the end of the line. We do this because if we change the dimension of a circle, the plane will move along and update the body of a model. Create sketch on this plane here. So we have a plane that's uh, now as a tangent to this circle here, and we need to get these two circles inside the sketch. We're going to hit S on the keyboard and ta start typing in tur. We are looking for intersect command. You have it up in the menus too, but I like to use the search function. Selection filter, specified entities, yes, this circle and this circle. So this gives our us points for where those circles are, uh, I'm going to open up the browser here, where those circles are intersecting this sketch plane. So we're going to do line. We're going to start from here. We're going to do, just make sure we get the horizontal constraint and we can add it by hand later. And then go to here. Finish that. We're going to select this line and turn it into construction geometry. And we need one more dimension here. This here was 120. Yes, you can put all the dimension in user parameters want to do that, but we are basically only using the parameter ones. We're going to finish this. So now we have this little line. That's a straight one. So in the pipe version I did, I simply just do a pipe on this line. But in this case, we want to make a wrapped around surface. And we can't revolve. We will create error. So we go to our surface tab and we want to use sweep. The profile is going to be this one, the path is going to be this circle. And we have our parabolic shape. Hit OK. We're going to hide our sketches, open up and see we have one body, but we need a bottom of a vase. It's much better vase if we have a bottom. Sorry, not stitch. <coughs> I want a patch. Don't you see what I click? Like that. Now, something's a bit confused. So now we have two bodies, we want to stitch these together, like that. We hit F on the keyboard for fillet, and we're going to do a 5mm fillet here. We had a 5mm fillet here, we're going to type in 5. And now we like to add the thickness, so S on the keyboard, let's find 
thicken. You can also find it in the create menu. Thicken uh, what faces we want all of his body. We're gonna have a look at which direction the arrow is. The arrow is, is outside now. I want to thicken it inwards because the drawing here had all dimension where the outside dimensions. So I'm gonna do that. Two millimeters like that, minus two, two, you have to see which direction you know. So now we can see the arrows in the correct direction, it's inwards. You can also see the overlapping surface body here. So this means the outside is constant and we are fitting towards the inside. Hit OK. Uh, the surface body now get hidden and it's done its work. So I like to right click and select remove. So it cleans up the browser a bit. And F for one more fillet for this edge and uh, this edge and it was one millimeter that's half of the thickness you can't make it larger than that and by doing that we have made only model and now let's check the properties and the volume is 60,928 in my early video it was a bit lower that's because I was uh, may put in some more work I made sure that the total hive ended up 120 by also sketching this fillet up here. That's really not necessary, but just for fun. The important part of this challenge was the basic shape of this. If you've seen it before, you recognize it. If you've never seen it before, it can be a bit confusing. And the good thing now, we have a nice uh, smooth surface here. We can do an inspection like a zebra analysis. Uh, sorry that, I'm going to turn it around. You can see we have a interesting shape and in that direction everything is round and nice it creates a very nice shape but the good thing now with our little here sketches we can right click show dimensions right click show dimensions now we can play around a bit like maybe we want to change uh, the top of this uh, we want a more narrow here so you want to change this to 40 and want to change the top to 60 we didn't like that. Sometimes it crashes things like fillet. What's this? Yeah, it's the fillet that gives error on. So we're gonna do like this. We're gonna right click and suppress features and see if we can change it and try out. Yes, it works. So you have careful fillet sometimes can crash things, but you can now play around uh, with different uh, maybe you want a thicker base of this or something like that. You want to change the hive, you can turn on the fillets again. So as usually, try to make your model at least, you don't need to make it fully parametric in any way, but uh, by using dimension and things like this, we can make something like quite useful and easy to change things on. So that was a hyperbolic vase and how I do it. And also it can be used for, of course, then as we showed structures like this, where you do a pipe and spin around and do other things. You have to calculate how many walls and stuff like that. Anyway, with that said, Take care, have a good Sunday, and I hope to see you around. Goodbye.